Hey, this is YBR back with Scrap Mechanic, and it seemed like you guys are okay with the first terrible vehicle I made, so let's make another terrible vehicle. Eventually, I'll get good enough to make better ones. You know, the goal is to make a better one each and every video, and eventually, we'll actually be able to make good ones. Hopefully. I don't know if I'll ever get to that stage, but maybe, maybe, just maybe. So for this one, we are going to be making a bus, and I want this to be a big, big, big bus. First thing I gotta do though is figure out how wide are we gonna make this because I know that I want to have side-by-side -side seating and like a center aisle like a real bus would so it'd have to be something like this and it looks like okay if I hang off the seats on the edges can we walk in between these yes so that's probably like as close as I could get the seats to each other while still being able to walk through it so that is how wide it's gonna have to be well actually it's gonna need to be wider because we're gonna want a wall around it like that so that's the official width basically once I get it fixed up on both sides all right so that thing is already just as wide as my other vehicle was with the uh, extra helpers on the sides almost now we got to figure out the length and I'm gonna want let's go with how about 10 seats on each side so it could sit a total of 20 people it's gonna be a long vehicle isn't it two Three, four. We gotta keep going. No, oh, it won't let you build any more than that. How funny. So I think we're gonna need to do like that. And then we have seats five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need one more seat. And ten. That is how long this thing will be. This is a bus. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Perfect. And we can walk right in between these seats, right? Just like a real bus. Oh, yeah, you just got to be careful not to walk a little crooked because you bounce off of them a little bit. I think you can see a little bouncing. All right, now for the driver's seat, I'm gonna do something different. Normally in a bus, you know the driver's up here, right? The problem is if you're driving from here, this is what you see. I wanna be able to see this whole thing as we drive. So I'm gonna put the driver's seat in the back and I want it to be centered up just for convenience sake. So we're gonna make this longer and we're just gonna put a chair right there and then make sure we can build a wall behind it. Looks okay, all right. So there is a uh, total length. This thing is so long though. I'm kind of curious. Can the suspension even support this? Like, if I was to just, for example, though, suspensions on each corner, can it support all of this weight with those things? Well, that's worrisome. The game crashed when I dropped the bus. So I'm curious, will it do it again? If I drop the bus again, will it crash again? Okay, we're okay. I guess it was just a one-time glitch. Oh yeah, but I was dropping it to check on the suspension. I can't even see the suspension though. What if I put a block under it? Maybe it doesn't work unless there's a block under it? Like the suspension can't just touch the regular ground? That's a possibility, isn't it? And then remove it. Oh no, that's not good. That suspension is fully fully compressed hmm I have an idea we'll add more suspensions so I'll add like three on each corner there we go whoops there we go and then we'll add some blocks to it and add some blocks over to this one and then let's see what that does Still fully compressed. Wow. Oh, hey, that one's not. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. That's right. I kind of. Oh, I forgot about that. I kind of thought. I kind of noticed this earlier, but I didn't mention it. It was when I was like playing the game before the first video. The way things connect, it connects to whatever you click on, whatever you click on only. So you click here, it looks like it's connected to this piece of suspension, right? But if you remove this, you notice it's not actually connected to that. 
So if I have something like this, you would think, oh, that's three, like three of the suspension bits all working together. It's actually three of them working independently, which is not what we would want. All right. I have a different idea. I also hit my microphone stand, so that's probably what that weird noise was if you heard a weird noise. Um, but I got an idea. I'm going to just start on one corner, though, because this is weird. So I need to do something where it, like, interlocks. Actually, you know what, though? If I do this right here like that, this thing is going to be so ridiculously tall. I need to build the suspension inside of the bus. That sounds really weird, but there's I need to do that. It's the only way this will work. So we'll get rid of those seats, and then we can build the suspension here. And I need to, let me think here, go something like this to find the height. So I want to build it that high. Okay. So remove that. Remove these. Make them wood just because everything else is wood. It was four, right? I already forgot. All right, we make it four high. And then we're going to go out like that. Okay. I think that'll work. Actually, maybe I should have attached it on this corner just because it'll look a little, it might be a little bit easier. No, I will keep it there. That's fine. So now I'm going to attach suspensions to these four corners. And then I'm going to raise it, remove all of those, attach a piece there, 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 there. Then we attach one here, one here. Then we go. Then. I think if I do something like that, they'll all work as a single piece. Maybe. If I attach a wheel to it, I could probably tell if that worked or not. So let's see, is it working all together? All right, they are all working together because all of them compressed. Now I just got to be able to do that again. That is working together, right? I'm gonna double check this still. I'm like, this design seems so wacky. I don't trust it. I, I truly don't trust this design. All right, that is the easiest way to tell. All right, it is working all as one because we're attaching to just that point and it's, all right, we're good, we're good. This will work. It is not easy to make, but it will work. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same thing on this corner. So first we build the upper piece. And all I'm doing though, basically, I should kind of explain. I'm just kind of like making an interlocking system where the pieces just lock together, basically. And it works, yeah. So we go something like that. Remove these four pieces. Raise it up. Then we attach a suspension here, here, and here. And I'll explain how it works right here. So at this point, each suspension piece just has a block right under it. Then they each have a block uh, now two of them have a block under them. And then we attach that like that. This piece and the piece behind it are now kind of connected to each other, right? You see how that works? So it's like, boom, that piece is now under that piece. And then I put another piece there. And we do the same thing here. Boom, it's connected. And then we put a piece there. And then we're going to go like side to side. And then they're connected side to side as well. And that makes it where it works. I think. Like, I think what I'm saying is right. Yeah. Oh, great. Look, it actually has function in the suspension now. I think four might be too many, but you know what? I don't care because I still got to add a roof to this thing and stuff. It's going to get heavy fast. All right, now we just do the exact same thing to the back. And the overly complex suspension setup is complete. See, this is actually something I'm kind of proud of. Like, this was not... A simple solution exactly this is something I had to think for a minute and be like all right I got this I'm actually happy about this this is the coolest part of the bus I guarantee it and we were building out on the inside right okay yeah I just wanted to make sure I kept it all kind of the same design just so it's easier to make things symmetrical later on and stuff okay 
and then we go out like that. Attach the suspensions. Okay, looks good. Making sure the height's right. Then each one gets one. Each one gets one, and now I'm gonna do them one at a time just because I gotta make sure I do this right. So we go down, over, and then we put one below it. On the other side, we go down, over, below it, and sideways, sideways. Same idea here. Down, there, down, there, under, under, side, side. And I'll put some uh, bricks under this one too to make sure it's right. And this is just like a test to make sure I did things right, basically. And let's see. Great! The suspension is complete, although it's not encased in the actual vehicle. You know what, though? I'm okay with that. I'm so proud of that, I want people to see my awesome suspension. That's what it is. That is I, I'm not about to rebuild it, too. That was a lot of work. I mean, well, it wasn't a lot of work, but it took a while. All right, now we can actually get to uh, adding wheels to this. Now I'm going to have to go and put one block here. And you know what? We need the big boy wheels on this thing. It is so big. We need the big wheels. And we'll just go like that. All right. And then same on this side. Perfect. And then on this one, we want it to be able to steer. So we'll put those down first. Then we attach the block. Then we attach the wheel. Block. Circular thing, which I always forget the name of. Wheel. It is the bearing, right? Bearing? Yeah. See, the problem is I wanted to say bearing, but I know I always say the wrong thing, so I had to double check. So now... Perfect! Oh, that is awesome that it worked. Dude, I'm I'm proud as... I am so happy that that worked. Oh, that is great. All right. Now we got to do the design of the bus. Not going to be easy. You know what we should do? We shouldn't have the wheels at the corners anyway, so we should make a front section, and then we can put the engine in the front section. Or should I say engines? Just because we have all this room, we might as well put multiple engines, right? Let me think here. How about, um... Yes, a piece like this would be good. Actually, maybe a piece like this, too. We could use this kind of like a grill. Hmm. See, I'm trying to make it look good. Oh, well, that's what you use for a grill. That looks like actually kind of like a... Almost like a radiator or something. That will work great for just design purposes. Alright, so something like that. And let's see here. We're going to want probably the windshield to be... Well, it's going to have to be... Like... Uh, okay. We'll have to go... Because I want it to have like a nice even slope to it. So we'll go like this. And we attach below it. So I'm just trying to figure out how long this thing needs to be actually you know what I should do though I should attach the pieces to the pieces I was placing them on before too just so it matches up might make it a little bit easier in the future if I want to change things if it's all kind of built the same it's not want to remove one part and then have everything fall apart you know all right so something like that we could fit the engine in there so we'll remove this front row then we could just kind of put the engines in here, like so. And we could put multiple engines just because we have the space. Totally pointless, but it looks neat, doesn't it? All right, one engine per wheel. Yeah, right. All right, then we got to do the nice pretty section again. And done. Okay. Then we'll just attach these straight across like so. Whoops. Get out of there. Oh no, I have a hole in my bus. The children will fall through there. Yes, it's a school bus now. I don't know. I didn't even think about that. I'm just, the only time I ever rode a bus was for school. So I always think of school buses first. Never, I, I mean, I've rode a bus a few times, but you know, most of the time I rode it was for school. All right, this is gonna look decent. And we could also add that grill in somewhere around here, maybe. 
remove, remove. Oh, this is a big old grill, though. Ah, I didn't realize it was so big. Yeah, that's a bus. Except it doesn't look right there. You need to, like, move it in some. Uh, almost there. We'll move one more. Yeah, that's not symmetrical, though, is it? Oh, what? You can't build it symmetrically. Wait. Yeah, look. Oh, that just ruins it. You know what? Forget it. We don't need a grill. We'll use this instead. It'll look close enough, right? Oh. Oh, that's not the same. I thought it was the same thing, but a different color. No, that's that's big. That's not going to work either. How big is this thing? That's also massive. All right, you know what? Never mind. I'll just make it sloped in the front and that's it. This is not working. See, designing ain't easy. Building a bench and set up. That was easy. Designing, that's the hard part. Nope, get out of there. I swear, the design's taking longer than I did on the suspension, though, isn't it? Okay, there we go. You kind of block these in. Like so. And... Okay. And we can still access things through the... Yeah. So I don't need to worry about, like, accidentally blocking things in here. We can totally just go like that. Perfect. It's kind of an ugly looking bus, but it looks uh, good enough for me. And my purposes. Now, how tall are we going to make this thing? Well, I want to be able to walk in it. Without crouching, really. So, let's see. Is that... If we have it just above there, like... The roof like this. Can we fit? Alright, we can't jump at all. But, I think it'll work at that height. So I'll just go ahead and make the rest of this wall all the way back. Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll make this one first, then we gotta rotate this in the right direction. There we go. One more. Perfect. And I'll have to build windows into it later. And last one. And thankfully, I don't need to do anything fancy on the back, really. Although I might want to... Nah, it's good. I was going to say kind of cover the suspension, but you know what? I'm too proud of that. So it's two higher than what's here. So one, two. And is that still two higher? Perfect. All right. Keep going. Keep it going. Actually, it'd be easier if I start from the top. Because then I don't have to worry about the height. Okay. Then we need to add a, a roof to it. Whoop! That, that's not where the roof goes! Stop it! Oh. I made that one too tall. Or this one too short. Oh. Uh-oh. You know what? This is not working. I keep getting stuck on stuff because I, I think I'm hitting the edges of the chairs and that makes me too tall. So we're going to need to um, make it taller. Shoot. I thought I was doing so good too. And it's like, no, wait, this isn't going to work. All right. Well, this side was already too tall, so I could just build off of that one. Okay, so we have it like that, and then we build the roof above on this. Or maybe I just did something wrong earlier, I don't know. Alright, let's see, does that work better? I can't even... I need a door! I just realized this, buses usually have doors to get into them. Alright, that's much, much better, okay. And I see a gap, so I'll have to fill in that gap as well later. A lot of things I'm going to need to be doing. Oh, wait a minute. If I don't want to fill in the gap, I could go... Nah, you know what? We'll just fill in the gap. I'm trying to overcomplicate things and I'm going to mess up everything. Oh, I fell! This is hard! <laughs> it's also embarrassing how bad I am, isn't it? 
Okay. Roof, good. Roof is very good. And then we'll fill in the side. I don't know how I managed to miss that piece, but we'll fill that in too. This thing is so massive. All right, now we need to add a door, and I think we might have to remove a chair. So let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to get near the suspension. I want to make sure that thing is safe from my destructive ways. We'll just make a door right here. Come on up. Oh, not wide enough. Oh, that means we we'll have to remove a chair, though. Oh well. Still could fit. It could fit twenty people technically because we had the driver's seat. All right, perfect. We might want stairs or something going up to it, though. How about that? We'll make a little tiny slope. And right, hopefully with that, you'll be able to get on it no matter what. Perfect. So you just walk up in, and then you're in the bus. All right. Now we need to make some windows real quickly. And um, should I make nice big windows just so you can actually see out of it easier? Maybe like three by three windows. Those look pretty good. And we'll just make it every two. So you, wait, that's not two. You dummy. There. That's not three by three, is it? That's four by three. Oh, well, it looks good. We'll do the four by three then. Aesthetics. Not my strong point. No, they've been four by four this whole time, haven't they? One, two, three. Okay. I am I am so bad at this kind of stuff, man. I swear to you. One, two, three. Oh, because I was counting a movement of three. So that's why it threw me off. And then we'll just uh, have a little, little extra one for the driver to see. Oh, I got close to the suspension, though. I don't like that. Oh, we got to do it on the other side, though. I was like, yeah, we're done. And I'm looking at the other side. Oh, crap. I got to do that side, too. Should I have another door? Nah, that'd be weird. All right, so we got to look. So there's a two. Then we have the door. Maybe it'd be easier if I just kind of mark the spot from the inside. So it's um right here. We go straight across. Okay. That is where the first window should start. Sort of. And let me make sure that looks right from the inside. Does that look the same location? Doot, 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 doot. Yep, that's good. All right. Making more windows. Let's see here. Window, window, window. Window. Oh. Window. Window. I swear to you, this is harder than building the suspension, though. No lie. I got a feeling I'm doing it wrong anyways, but oh well. You know what? As long as the people can see out and they're happy, I have no more things to worry about. Than the little driver's window. So I want to be like that. It's a tiny thin thing. We'll add this piece back together. All right. Now we just need to cover up the back end and we're basically done. Why is there a gap here? You know, I don't even know if this thing will drive. Like, I just now thought about that. Like, it might not even drive because it's too damn long. And he's games like this this is not gonna happen. This thing is stupidly long. It's no go. Oh man, that'll suck. We want a window the driver could see out of. We can make it a little bit smaller. Okay. The bus is done. It actually kind of looks like a bus. Like, not really, but a little bit, you know? All right, let's attach these pieces up. Uh, we'll just use the leftmost engine for everything because it makes it a little bit simpler. Like, I don't think it makes a difference how many things you attach the engines to. 
So let's just use one engine only. But it looks cooler with four, don't it? And we'll attach the driver's chair to the engine way over here. We'll attach this to the driver's chair. And we attach this piece as well. And I almost always have to switch the way it works because it seems like I never get it right. So let's do it now. This wheel is rotating the correct orientation, which means this one will be rotating the wrong way. And then so will this one. All right. I think it's done. It is good to go. The Why is it so unsymmetrical? Oh, goodness. Is it because of the chair? Like, the chair added that much weight to it? Hmm, I don't know. I'll just move the door over a bit, I guess. Maybe it's because I have a hole in it? Oh, this sucks. It looks so dumb when it's leaning like this. And I'm not exactly sure why. It sucks, dude. I was so proud, and then you spawn it, and it's like all crooked. Why are you crooked? Whatever, it's the sideways bus. Somebody out there is probably going to notice something I'm just totally missing. And it's like, I'm going to look like a dummy. All right, let's see, does it at least drive? Oh, it might just be the terrain. Also, that engine is way too low powered at the moment. We need to adjust, oh no, I'm stuck. Okay, one thing, if you have an enclosed vehicle, it's not easy to get out of it. All right. Oh, I can't see the engine though. Make a tiny little hole then. We need a lot of power. A lot. This is a massive, massive vehicle. Let's go need it. Can I hop through the back? There we go. Good. Convenience. Yes! The bus works! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my goodness, it actually works, works! This is amazing! That is awesome! <laughs> I am so proud of this thing! Like, it looks so ridiculous, but it actually will drive. It's, it's churning radius is terrible, but it does steer. Like, I can make sure I don't crash into things. Oh, this is... Dude, I love my bus. It's the YBR bus, man. That is awesome. Can't believe I actually made something that worked. That is slightly more complicated than the last thing. And I'm watching that suspension too. It's like, oh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that was funny. It just started flipping. Like seeing something that long flip. Whoa, it's still flipping. <laughs> the game don't know what to do with it. Like this thing is too long. It's gonna ride. What? What? It's like as long as a tree. It's like the size of a redwood tree. Oh, this thing is great. I love the bus. All right. Oh, goodness, we're popping a wheel. Actually, I have to pop a wheelie because there's a little bit of a hill. Okay, something's going wrong. I can't stop popping wheelies. <laughs> Wait, we'll reverse it. That'll stop the wheelie machine. Nope, we are the wheelie machine officially now. Something's wrong. I can't steer, though, because I only have front steering. Like I'm saying, go right. It ain't going to listen. I gotta add rear steering to this thing, probably. I mean, it would help with the awful, awful turning radius. I know fire trucks, at least some models will have rear steering because they're so long anyways. So let's go ahead and add that real quickly. Oh, I'm stuck in it again. Oh, hey, come on. Oh, oh let me place it. There we go. All right, so we'll just uh, real quickly add some extra steering abilities. What the? Oh, I'm in the wrong tool. I'm like, why can't I remove this? And then a block. And then a piece. And what? How did I lose the wheels? When did I do that? Must have hit a key and I didn't notice it or something. Maybe I didn't have it for a while and I didn't notice. Both are equally possible. Okay. Now we're going to add the ability to steer onto the location 
And let's see, I'll probably leave it like that and it'll work. And we'll connect the engine. Whoops. Connect the engine. There we go. And connect. Good. Drop it. The all-wheel steering bus is complete. You know, it seems like the front doesn't want to steer now, doesn't it? Like, one of them's not steering. Oh, it is. It just can't steer much, maybe. Oh, it's hitting the, um... Oh, I see what's happening. It's hitting the little place to go in the bus. I think. Maybe. I don't know, it just seems like the right tire is not turning as much as the left one, doesn't it? Here, I'll show you what I mean. Look closely at those front tires. And I'll show you what I kind of mean. Like, okay. You see how it doesn't really go right? It goes left a lot. But it does Oh, they're just hitting the actual vehicle itself. So no matter what, it's not going to... Okay, well. Whatever. That's a compromise I'll take. I have enough steering ability still where it'll be okay. That's something to take note of for future vehicles. To improve and make better ones. Anyways, that'll do it for the bus. Till next time, this has been YBR. I'll see ya. One last note, the bus was built because of viewer suggestions. So keep those suggestions coming so I still have new things to build.